Hello there, it's me Sibin from Libromi. In this video, I will be explaining about Libromi's WhatsApp team inbox feature. As we all know that the WhatsApp is meant for end-to-end -end personal communication. The WhatsApp and WhatsApp business app cannot be accessed by multiple persons. It can only be accessed by one person so that it is not really useful for a company with multiple staffs. But here with Libromi's WhatsApp team inbox feature, a business with multiple staffs can now access conversation to a single phone number, which means you can enable single phone number using WhatsApp Cloud API with Libromi Connect and all of your staffs can access the conversation to that single phone number. And the manager can also access all the conversation and see what all the staffs are doing with the conversations. And each staff can only see the conversation assigned to them. The manager can either manually assign the conversation to each of staffs and using the chat but also the conversation can be automatically allocated based on some conditions. So now I will give you detailed tour into Libromi's WhatsApp team inbox feature. I have shared Libromi's team inbox feature on my screen. Here I have opened the not assigned tab and you can see all the conversation which are not assigned to anyone. So which means it can be assigned to anyone using this buttons. So if I click on assign to me, it will be assigned to me and I can continue the conversation. For example, let's see if I click here, the conversation will be activated and now I can chat with the customer. So for the second conversation, let's see, if I click on the assign to staff button, there will be a pop-up to assign to a team out the staff. So all the staffs created here will be appeared here. And if I select and assign, it will be assigned to different staff. And now I cannot continue the conversation here. I can only see the conversation since I have logged into the manager role. And for the staff which this conversation allocated to, he can only see this conversation and all the conversation allocated to him. And let's explore all of the features in this panel. Here, if I click on the active chat, it will show all the conversation which are active in the 24 hour conversation session. And if I click on the open chat, it will open the, all the conversation which are already open. For example, if it is a support ticket system, you can actually resolve the query of the customer and finally close the conversation. If you close the conversation, it will be moved to close the chat and then after the 24 hour session of the conversation and then the user send another message, it will again come to the open chat so that you need to resolve the query again. So it's like a support ticketing system. We can manage all the conversation between these statuses. So if you want to add the customer to a particular group, you can select the group and manually add the customer to that particular group. And then you can further use this contact to send bulk broadcast. And the another feature is maybe this chat is already ongoing with the chat board. So if you want to override the conversation, you need to disable the chat board and then start the conversation manually here. To create a multiple staff to handle the conversation, you can create a staff by simply navigating to the staffs menu and create a user with the username and password. After that, each of the staff can log into Libromi's panel using the designated username and password. They can also access the panel using the web panel also from the mobile app. Here I have shared my phone screen to demonstrate this feature. Now let's see how a conversation can be allocated to a different staff and uh, reassign back and forth. Here on my phone, I have logged in as a different user named Akil and this is Sibin. So here the conversations with Sibin is happening here. And now if I want to assign this conversation to Akil, I can click here on the transfer button and select the staff named Agil and then simply transfer. So now let's see, now the conversation seems signed to Sibin. So if I click here, the conversation will be opened within the phone. Now you can see the conversation is assigned from Sibin to Agil. Now Agil can continue the conversation. Now if Agil want to change this conversation back to Sibin, he can click on the top right side of this mobile app and transfer the conversation back to Sibin. And here before transferring the conversation, for example, if I navigate into a different menu and open a different conversation, I will get notified with a pop-up notification on the top right side. Let's see. And if I click on a Sibin and submit, you will see it popped up with a notification. You've been assigned Sibin's chat. So if I click here, it will open Sibin's conversation. Now take a look at these labels. These labels can be used to organize the conversation. For example, you can see the hot leads is organized here. If I click on the hot leads, all the hot leads will appear here. Similarly, if I click on the e-commerce lead, you'll see all the conversation map to this label will appear here. Similarly, it is easy to organize the conversation. If I click on the top right side on the filter button, we can see all the labels here. So the same feature is also available in the mobile app. To add a tag to this conversation, you can click on this tag menu here and click and type any tag. So there are some predefined tags here. You can select or create a tag by simply typing it here. And now I will explain how you can automatically assign this conversation to staffs from the chatbot. To do that, go to the chatbots menu and I'm creating a new chatbot for this demo purpose. 
click on a create chatbot and here just after triggering the chatbot for example i'm adding a quick reply button here choose an option from the below list and this one will be support and the second one will be sales for example and if someone click on the support button on the whatsapp i can assign this conversation to someone on support to do that here in the integration you can see the connect simply drag and drop the connect module here and simply connect this edge to the group 2 and here in the configure you can see all the options available here so the first one is assign tag if you click on assign tag and write some name here when a user click on the support button a tag will be automatically created like these tags and then the next option available here is you can either assign tag or remove tag assign this contact a particular group and then it can be for the use to send a broadcast and uh, remove from the group uh, or add to dnd list then it will be exempted from the bulk broadcast list also here this is the assigned staff so if i click on this you can see all the available option the first one is you can either manually select the staff so here you can see if i select agil when a user click on the support button this conversation automatically will be assigned to agil and he will be notified through the notification but instead if i click assign staff automatically and if i have a team of sales people with maybe 10 people this conversation will be evenly allocated for example if 10 new conversation created to this whatsapp number all these leads will be evenly distributed between all these 10 staffs in a round robin concept and there are other features available with Libromis team inbox such as products if you have already activated the e-commerce within Libromi, you can see all the products available in the e-commerce platform as a list here. For example, if you are chatting with the customer and if the customer is asking for some particular products, you can simply search for the products here and add to the card from right in this panel and send to the customer. And then the customer can choose the product and place an order again. So similarly, the products can be searched here. There is a categories to filter from and also the sets which created for the e-commerce will be available here. So if the customer is looking for the daily offers and if they send a message manually what is daily offer here, you can simply click on this button and uh, it will send the message to the customer and customer can see the catalog with a limit of 30 products and place an order from right there and similarly if you click on the orders it will display all the orders placed by that customer and if you click on the view button it will display the complete details of that order and the same feature is also available in the mobile app as well i will share my mobile screen here and if i open my conversation here you can see my all previous conversation here and if i simply swipe right you can see all the e-commerce options if i search here for example apple you will see all the products available here. I can simply add the product from the mobile app itself and uh, it will create a card and then write a title and description and send the product list to the customer to place an order. Similarly, if I click on the set button and search for the set like fruits and vegetables, see all the sets are available within the mobile app and it can send it to the user. And similarly, all the orders I placed also will be available here as a history. So if you are interested in this feature and you haven't signed up for Libromi yet, visit Libromi.com and sign up for an account. And uh, make sure you have subscribed to this channel for more interesting videos like this. Thank you.